Fish family, it's Darla, and I'm in Irvine Valley College at the Gleaming Project. We came out here today with loaves and fishes times 10. We are harvesting a bunch of squash. It's gonna go to food banks, it's gonna go to shelters, it's going to places where people are in need of food and they're hungry. My name is Robert Flournoy. I am from Santa Ana, California. Today is called a Gleaning Project. A lot of volunteers came out to help support the fight against hunger. And this is one way we do it, through gleaning. I've been gleaning since 2011. And even though we have this COVID right now, it's affecting a lot of people. Okay. These people came out and said, you know, besides the COVID, we know there's a hunger issue out there. Irvine from, from Harvest, Harvest. Harvest Community Church. So how did you hear about today? Uh, a friend who also from the church that did it last week and invited us to come so brought more people today. You're awesome. So we're out here it's like 90 degrees uh, already it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. Why are you out here? What made you want to do this? Oh just you know we wanted to help those who um, uh, are hungry that need food and also we have the time you know. And we're social distance and wearing our masks, so it's safe and we're doing good, so. My name is Lupe. Um, I'm from Santa Ana and I help with loaves and fishes times 10 for going on four years. And um, there's a testimony that I have of the one time that, because I started working, helping them in the fields and I started, reala I mean, I realized how much hard work it is. I come from an agricultural country, I mean, um, city or county and I never worked in the fields ever before and so when I came here to Irvine I mean Santa Ana Orange County I, I started helping with those and fishes times 10 and I seen the hard work that they go through and so <laughs> thank you so, so I ended up um, you know in my appreciation I took some of the squash and I and I brought them a meal but I was running late and oh my god I was trying so hard to get it done because I had to bake it and so I ended up, um, I got, I was running late, um, thanks to Robert. He had called the, 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 the foreman and they held up, the people held up the, their lunch until I got here, which was fabulous because it gave me time. And so I was, I, I got the food cooked up and I still had to get the plates and napkins and stuff, right? So I was like, Lord, please help me make it on time. You know my heart, I'm doing it not for any gratification or, or for anything in return. I'm just, I want to do this for them and you know my heart. So I was able to get into the store. I went in and out, I came out and then I got on the freeway and I was like, Lord, please cover me from bumper to bumper because like I was in a rush. And I kid you not, um, I was coming on the freeway and the highway patrol came out and he went to the first lane and he came back. And then he went to the second lane and he came back. He started clearing up the road. Oh my God, I was just like in awe because I know that God was working and he was, he was opening the door, I mean, the way for me, you know? And so I was right behind the highway patrol. So I, he cleared the road and I was able to get here like in no time flat, right? And um, when I pulled up, I was so disappointed because I saw all of the field workers working in the field. And um, I was like, man, I missed her lunch. I said, Lord, you know, at least I think it's 15 minutes of their, the meal, right? And so when I pulled up, I got off the car and the, the, the foreman said, oh, we cleared this table for you. And I was like, oh, okay. So I pulled up and they had, that's when I found out they had held off their lunch in order to get. And so anyways, um, that's what happened. And I was showing them the video because I actually videoed when the highway patrol was clearing off the road. And I was just like in awe and I was explaining to them what I had went through and they were like, oh, thank you so much and stuff. But I was just like, thank you, Lord, because I knew he was there, you know. But anyway, so, um, yeah, God is good. He's awesome. And, and I do it all again for the glory of God. Robert, why do you do this? Hunger. I mean, I've been fighting hunger for about 30 years. And uh, I was homeless for a few months. Nobody knows that until now. <laughs> I was homeless for a few months. Uh, I was never hungry. But I seen... Uh, what hunger does, working with the homeless people and many years ago, knowing that they're hungry, homeless, cold, and the Lord just put it in me to continue to do this fight, and uh, I've been doing it 
You know, a lot of people don't want to come out here and do this stuff. But you know what? It's a blessing to be out here for a few reasons why. Get you out your office, into the atmosphere. And this is, this is really hard work, and it makes you feel good about what you're doing. So this is why I do it. It went from a passion to a have to do. Bye. 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 Bye.